I think it is really hard to let go of the pressure of having everything figured out by the time you're 30. But trust me, once you do, it's so worth it. All my life, I feared turning 30. I felt like I needed to have my entire life ready and be settled by that time. I think a lot of us go through the same process. Somehow, it is what we're taught. And I have to say that once I was able to let go of that pressure, everything got better and I am able now to enjoy my 30s and see how much I still have left to live and experience. Good morning. Today is the day that I'm celebrating my birthday. Well, celebrating, maybe that's not the right word. The day that this video will be uploaded it will be actually my birthday. But I decided to take a few days um, in advance to book a day and just treat myself. So I'm going to do a full day of self-care, not only for my body, but for my mind and for my soul. So I'm going to take it with me. So I would like to celebrate my birthday with my friends, but apart from this, I like celebrating. I like taking the day of my birthday to just do the things that bring me joy and just treat my body and practice a lot of self-love. So yeah, I'm going to bring you with me and as I show you what I'm going to do, I will explain you why I decided to do those things. I'm going to brush my teeth, get ready and keep. My first stop was at the spa called Alchemy for a matcha mori ritual. This ritual that I chose is an inspiration from the Japanese pursuit of beauty and the serene onsen tradition. The onsen is a hot bath full of minerals. In Japan, you must scrub and clean the body before getting in the onsen. They started with a lymphatic stimulation with a wooden brush on a warm bed, followed by a green tea scrub camellia extract. Then green tea and volcanic minerals wrap were put on crucial points of my body. My face was also gently cleansed with their fresh start serum, followed by gentle rice protein exfoliation, golden honey drainage and camellia oil facial massage using lifting techniques. And they actually followed the same steps for my scalp. So this treatment was for my face, for my body and for my hair. While the bath was being prepared, they pampered me with a matcha face mask. And then after, when I was soaking in the bath, they offered me a reishi drink by Aho Botanicals and I could just enjoy the view. The reishi drink that they gave me, this is from a type of mushroom that has been used in traditional Asian medicine for centuries. It is believed to have numerous health benefits including boosting the immune system, reducing stress, improving sleep and lessening fatigue. Also, some studies have suggested that it has potential anti-cancer properties. After the spa, it was time to do my nails, which is actually in the same place, Alchemy. This treatment includes uh, scrubbing, massaging the, the hands, and then cosmetic manicure, nail treatment, and nail polish. My next appointment was the hairdresser. I am trying to slowly go back to my natural hair and get rid of the blonde from past hair dyes, but I really wanted to do it in a way that is as natural as possible and not impacting the health of my hair so much. And this place works with semi-permanent dyes that are vegan and less toxic option than other dyes. Next up was an appointment to check my eyes. I have myopia and lately I was feeling like it had gotten worse because even with my glasses and my contact lenses, I could see blurry when looking far. For me, self-care is not only to take care of my body on the outside, but also checking in with my health and my eyes are a very big part of this. After the appointment, they told me that because I am working with screens so much time and in the lab being at a short distance, uh, with the things that I use, whenever I looked up and looked farther, the change was so radical that it looked blurry. However, regardless of this, my myopia hasn't increased and my eye looked very healthy. So they prescribed a specific lens to help with this and with a blue light filter to help protect my eye. And honestly, I'm really excited to get my new glasses and see if I can notice the difference and if my eyesight gets better. 
So I am back home. I love my hair. The, the thing that I wanted to do with my hair is just slowly go to my natural color, which is this one right here. And the blonde was starting to come up right here. So it was time and I love it. And as for the colors of the nails, I didn't do anything special. I just wanted something, you know, soft, like clear color. Um, my nails were breaking by themselves so i just really wanted to give myself a treat they use the same brand that i do here at home it's all uh, as natural as possible so that's why i really like them so i said okay just for today it will be a treat for myself the spa was wonderful so my first appointment this morning was at 10. i had to leave home at 9 45 more or less just to get there on time so the spa appointment was at 10, the nails was at a quarter past 12, the hair was at 2, and then the appointment for the glasses was at 20 past 6. And Jorge came with me just to choose the glasses because sometimes I go with a very specific idea and then if I don't find it, I get disappointed. <laughs> I really like that he was there with me. Um, so yes, I went with a very specific idea of what I wanted for the glasses. Um, I don't know how you call it, but it's not the metal glasses that I wanted, it's the other one. You know, the thicker glasses that can be like super colorful. I wanted something like that and I started trying, trying them on, but they kind of ate my face. Uh, so yeah, I went for something like still metallic glasses, more simple, no more pink. I am tired of the pink. I wanted something a little bit more elegant. Not that pink is not elegant, but I've been wearing this pink glasses for a very long time and I just wanted something different also. When I came back from, was it summer or Christmas? Oh, when I came back from Christmas, I forgot my glasses in Spain. <laughs> So I wore my old ones, which are more of a round shape and people said that they changed my face so much so that's another reason why I wanted to change my glasses. I got myself a little treat, some vegan rolls. Um, on days like this I allow myself to have a little something, a little treat, cheat on my diet because why not? I am turning 32 and I want to celebrate and this is what I'm gonna have. So I only had breakfast this morning. I haven't had anything to eat since then. I had the cow cow drink that they gave me in the spa. Then I had a few teas while I was getting my nails done. And then I had that coffee, very, very tiny one, when I was doing my hair. And now I am starving. I don't know what I want to do now. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing so many things during the day, even though they're relaxing things and things for me, for my mind, for my body, for my soul. And I'm, I'm feeling very tempted to grab my computer and work, even though this feels a little bit like work because I'm recording this for you guys. But I think I'm gonna try and do a, a very big effort to not grab the computer, just be in the sofa, whether I wanna watch a TV show or read a book and enjoy my cinnamon rolls and we will not finish today the vlog just because tomorrow morning i have therapy the way my therapy works that it's not it's it's not constant therapy um it's more when i need it because my therapist said i'm good to go good to be on my own out there in the world like i don't need therapy anymore but he offers sessions whenever you think something has happened and i love learning things about myself so whenever i go through a rough situation or just a little bit of stress i call him and i want to analyze and evaluate the situation that has happened because the majority of the times the things that we think makes us stress in reality it's another thing that is triggering it so that's why I love therapy so much, because you learn so much about yourself. So tomorrow morning I have a therapy session. Um, so this is why we're going to continue with the vlog and not end it here. So now I just want to chill. Like, <laughs> as if I hadn't chilled enough today, but why not some more? In order to enjoy my cinnamon rolls, which are actually from my favorite place here in Brussels, I really didn't want to have any more caffeine in my body. I really wanted to take advantage of this relaxation that I had ongoing. So I just prepared a warm cocoa drink to enjoy this rolls and I was watching Friends 
because I love friends and I really didn't want to spend a lot of time choosing um, a TV show. I want to share with you guys the little gift that the spa what I went today gave me. They're so cute. I was not expecting this whatsoever and they just made me so happy. So they gave me the same um, concentrated um, that they used on uh, my skin today. And it is used to boost the collagen and elastin production of your skin, reducing wrinkles, puffiness, dark circles, and keeping the skin elasticity. So the key ingredients of this um, product is Persian silk tree, which is also known as the happiness tree. It, or it originates from Asia. Its extract counteracts the effect of glycation, which is a phenomenon leading to aging. It enhances skin elasticity, stimulates cell detoxification, protects blood vessel walls, and improves skin texture, firmness, and radiance. Another ingredient is Roman chamomile, which is used for its anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. Darutoside is a complex of two active ingredients, holy herb and centella asiatica. Centella asiatica is a plant from Ayurveda and Chinese medicine known for its powerful healing properties. It improves collagen synthesis, elasticity and skin matrix regeneration. So this concentrated youth elixir is used for the eyes and for the lips and I'm so excited. I never had something like this before. So I love it. I'm, I'm so happy that they gave me this. Thank you so much. Good morning guys, I have been awake for a while now, um, I'm going to get ready for my therapy session and uh, because I really want to be in the moment and not feel like I'm working, recording and so on, I'm just going to tell you here but normally when I have a therapy session what I do is take the time, sit down and write on a piece of paper everything that is bugging me. And in this case, I do do it on a piece of paper because as I'm going to be on a therapy session, I try to be as away as I can from devices um, and screens. I just want to be with myself and my thoughts. The only thing that I have near is my phone because that's how we have the therapy session. He calls me. So yeah, that is something that I really do. I take the time to just have a slow moment before the therapy. I usually try to be like one, one hour more or less and yeah I just write any thought, anything, something that that has happened in the past uh, days or weeks depending when was the last uh, therapy session, anything that it was a progress and also things that didn't work out um, but yeah generally feelings I really want him to understand how I'm feeling or certain exercises maybe that he sent me as a homework um, on the previous therapy session, how it turned out, and so on. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Um, and then I'm having the therapy session. It's a beautiful day today. So after the therapy session, I'm going to make a smoothie and I'm going to take it with me and I'm going to enjoy this lovely weather, so. Whether or not you are in the situation in your life where you need to treat um, something with your therapy, Regardless of this, I think therapy is a great way to celebrate your birthday. Um, I always do this every single birthday because I think it provides an opportunity for reflection on the past year, a chance to set goals and a space for self-care. It's a unique way of celebration that focuses on our mental health and our personal growth. After my therapy, I was so hungry, also didn't have breakfast yet and now I'm trying to have breakfast first thing in the morning to um, heal some aspects of my health. But I was so hungry that I decided to have a berry smoothie and I think this is perfect for your birthday because it's a healthy and refreshing way to experience this day. Berries are packed with antioxidants and vitamins providing a natural energy boost and this can be especially beneficial if you're having a full day of activities planned. Maybe this would have been a good idea for the previous day, but I really didn't have time to have a smoothie with myself. And today I really want to enjoy the sun and walk for a very long while. So I'm just gonna grab this with me. I think it's perfect. 
and it is also delicious so there you go i think i'm going to end the vlog here now i'm going to enjoy my walk i really want to be without phones without cameras i just want to be with myself and enjoy this weather so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one bye